And hello and welcome to Hindsight Tonight. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, Native Americans in the U.S. are on the warpath again. It's not bad enough that European settlers stole their land, gave them diseases, and then killed off their buffalo. Now, modern-day Americans have even stolen their slurs from them. Two years ago, the Washington Commanders NFL football team abandoned their longtime redskin moniker due to overwhelming protests from Native Americans or more accurately, non-native speaking for Native Americans. Turns out, out of 10 little American Indians, only one was offended by the name Redskin. Now, the Native American Guardians Association, or NAGA, has demanded that the team restore the Redskin name and logo or risk a boycott, the likes of which could only be compared to the Bud Light fiasco with Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, really bad comparison there, Kimo Sabe. Bud Light was fine until Mulvaney showed off her six-pack online. Native Americans started demanding the Redskins change their name in 1972, and it took almost 50 years to pull off. Besides, if the commanders start winning, nobody's gonna care. Remember that video of the Chick-fil-A worker in Tennessee who spat in the chicken batter? Never eaten there again, right? And how long is the drive through line at your local Chick-fil-A? Oh, just around the fucking block. No tears, just a trail of tires, because the food is just that good. Washington football, however, is not. You guys are hitting the peace pipe too hard. The only way you'll get the Redskins back is if the Commanders flat out suck this year, so the ignorant, pissed off fans, plenty of those in DC, team up with Naga to force a name repeal once again. I can already see the late Washington Redskins owner Jack Kent Cook turning in his grave. If only he made it to 2023, he could have died in the pink of health. Barbie pink, that is. Yep, if you've been dying to see the new Barbie movie, a funeral home in El Salvador has you covered with six feet of mulch. That's right, Barbie's dream house has nothing on the Barbie dream forever house. A pink metal coffin complete with photos of the iconic doll so you can spend eternity with your childhood heroine. Or even better, stick your departed husband in there since Greta Gerwig already killed him with gleeful misandry and pulpit patricide in the Barbie movie. Closer I am to find. Closer I am to Oh, 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 Ken, poor Ken, oh. There's no seatbelts in the back of the star vet. Ken Dia de Muertos. Rest in pink, punk. Come on, Barbie, let's go shiva. Actually, that kind of refreshing emasculation calls for some crossover advocacy. I think with just a little cooperation, we can finally introduce a team for everyone. The Washington Kens. And that's your news. Have a great week. Don't forget to like us and subscribe, and I'll see you next Sunday with Fresh Hindsight.